This story I once heard from my dear friend and mentor, Rabbi Pesach Kron, and it really encapsulates this idea in a beautiful way. This war is about the great Klosenberger Rebbe, Rabbi Kusil Yehuda Halberstam, who was a survivor of Auschwitz. He was actually in many death camps. And not only was he a survivor, but he lost his entire family. His wife and 11 children from before the war did not survive. They were killed by the Nazis in Shimon. And during the time that he was incarcerated in the concentration camps, his entire focus was on doing whatever he could to strengthen any Jew he came in contact with. Now, after the war, he resettled any of his Hasidim that survived in the Brooklyn area of New York. Now, the year was 1952. They had just arrived in New York, just set up their new synagogue, and it was this week's Parsha, the reading of Parsha's Kisavo and the reading of the Teichacha, the curses found within. Now, Jewish tradition mandates that when the Balkari, when the Torah reader comes up to the sixth Aliyah, which has within it the admonitions, he does it in a low voice. As if to say, it's part of the Torah, we've got to read it, but it's to show that we're not so enthusiastic about the section. Now, as per the the custom, the man reading the Torah that day did so in a soft voice, almost a whisper. Rabbi Halberstam, the Rebbe, standing at the front from his shtender, clapped and said in Yiddish, Hecher, louder. So the man reading the Torah assumed that the old Rebbe maybe couldn't hear his Torah reading and the low voice that he was reading it in. So he continued on just a little bit louder than the way he read it before, but still in a much lower voice than what was normal. Once again, the Rebbe gave a clap on his shtender and screamed out in a Yiddish voice. He said, I said louder. Read these verses out loud. We have nothing to fear. We've already experienced the curses. Let the master of the universe hear them. Let him know that the curses have already befallen us. And let him know that it's time for him to send the blessing. The Rebbe then turned his face towards the wall of the synagogue while the Torah reader continued reading in a loud voice, chanting the curses as if it was a normal section of the Torah to the Sun congregation. After the Torah reading, the Rebbe went in front of the congregation and said, My beloved brothers and sisters, pack up your belongings. We must make one more move, hopefully the last one. God promised that the blessings which must follow the curses will now come. They will come, but not for America. The blessings will only come from Israel. It is time for us to go. And true to his word, the Rebbe and all of his Hasidim made a move to the land of Israel, and they founded the Kiryat Sans community in Netanya eight years later in 1960.